everybody. Welcome to Night Coop. Welcome to Night Coop. Are you wearing f- false lashes? I am. They look good. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. You know what? They're big. These ones in particular, uh-huh. they're shorter. So they, they're they long in regards to the length of lash, but they're shorter in regards to how much goes on your eye. Oh, I see. And I think they don't look as fake as yeah. the other ones. Yeah. I got them for Christmas. Mom got them from Sephora. Nice. I really do like them. Thank yeah, you. Pretty. I appreciate it. Yeah, they're Thank pretty. You. They're pretty. I can't do false lashes. Something about uh, I can't stop blinking, you know? It drives me nuts. Um, I, I'm sorry. This this tea? Are you hearing that? Oh, yeah. That sound the straw is making is interesting. I, okay. I don't <laughs> think they can hear it, though. Oh, I, they can hear it if it's in the mic. No? You think... Oh, a little bit, yeah. You like, let us you know if you can that? hear whatever the hell she's talking about. <laughs> this straw is just, you know, it's just, it's a one man band. Very aerodynamic, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> I don't know the right word, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, well, hi, what everybody. A, hi, everybody. What a week. Um, that's, what a week. Uh, my oh, my God. God. <laughs> Sorry. Kelly and, our friend, Kelly and our friend Max, during the old pandemic. The old pandemic. We had they, a show called What a Week. Yeah, and they would do the news. Let me tell you this. Uh, it would take me hours to edit that to get yeah, maybe it was like, 40 views. Yeah, but you also, you did it. How long was the thing? How long were each episode? Yeah. Each episode was like 30 minutes, yeah, I think. Yeah, insane amount of time. Oh, my God. So much time. So much time, so much editing, no reward. <laughs> but you know what, though? You have to go through those things. Not everything can be a slam dunk. I mean, we did say what a week and immediately both remember it. That's two people. <laughs> yeah, but we lived through it. You know what <laughs> I'm fair, saying? Like, I don't fair. think the general public is going to be like, oh, finally, they brought up that new show that... Yeah, Kelly and Max not. did. Probably not. And also, it's weird because I look at footage from that time period. Yeah. And I'm sure a week from now, I'm going to look back and go, why did I wear my hair like that? But for real, I look at that footage and I'm like, my hair looks <laughs> awful. But it was also pandemic. So I didn't, I hadn't yeah. gotten it done. Yeah. But you could see like the hard line. Oh, yeah. No, like, I remember. I remember. Well, you all remember the pandemic. All of our hair looked like shit. Yeah. Everybody's universally, your hair looked bad. Yeah. And anybody who was just like, I think actually I do like it more grown out. Like, no, you didn't. No, you, no, you didn't. didn't. You were hurting. And that's yeah. okay. And that's okay. <laughs> Coping mechanism. My gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have, you know what's crazy is I have this app on my phone that's supposed to help me with certain like, um, like tasks that I do throughout the day. Mm-hmm. I have the app. I never do the app. It dings all of the time, and I'm like, oh, there it is. But I never do anything for the app. You're halfway there, though. Within it. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Halfway there. All right. Speaking of the news of what a week. (laughs) Speaking of the news, yes, I actually... Let's talk about the news. I have news. Do you have your stories this week? I do have my stories this week. Thank you. Um, She's prepared, folks. I am prepared. So the first one that I have... Oh, no, not that one. Um, the man who rested his feet on Nancy Pelosi's desk mm-hmm. in uh, her office on January 6th was found guilty on eight counts. But I are just, they all having to do with the feet on the desk? Like I, are all eight counts variations of how that's illegal? I don't know. I think it was the cockiness of the whole thing. Fair enough. You know, if you were there on January 6th, which I hope you weren't, and if it, it would be <laughs> alarming to me if we found if out the people that any of our viewers were, were there, there, you need to let us know. <laughs> yeah, and we, not in a... We want to know why. We just... We want to know why I would have questions. I would have so many questions. It wouldn't... Th- that's not... It's not a... It's just we would have questions. You know what's crazy about the January 6th thing? <laughs> what? Is, okay, and I'm not saying nothing about whatever, but uh-huh. they didn't really do anything. No. That's the craziest it's part. It's the craziest part of it. Is that they went, they no made No plan. <laughs> no plan. They were like, we're taking eh, over we're the Capitol. In. And then they just didn't really do anything. <laughs> I mean, the most guilty guy put his feet up on the desk. Yeah, that's what the news story is about. The guy who put his feet up on the desk. If so, you really think about it. I, I'm going to say this, and I and I mean it with my heart to anybody who went to the January 6th thing. It was a flop. 
It was. It Y'all was a damn flopped. Flop. Y'all flopped. It was, it was a big flop. And flops make the news. Don't act like, well, because you were all over the papers or whatever, it doesn't mean that it wasn't a damn flop. I mean, <laughs> really? I mean, it's cringy enough to go. The whole thing's embarrassing. The whole thing is embarrassing <laughs> because it's like you didn't even do anything. <laughs> Except that one woman who got d- 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 killed or whatever because she was crazy. Oh. But I mean, besides that. Yeah. It really was an uneventful thing. <laughs> I know. Like, I everyone mean, it's was... insane you were able to get in there. It's just, it's one of those things where you, we were like watching the news and we were like, oh man, they got into the Capitol. Something's S- going to happen. Something's going to happen. And then, and then it didn't. Nothing happened. And then it was just humiliating. Yeah. On all, all accounts, it was just, wow. Yeah. I mean, well... Guilty as charged. The guilty as charged. You can't put your feet up on a desk that's not yours. And Guess I where stand he's from? That. Where? Arkansas. Oh, you're kidding. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> if you're yeah. from Arkansas, that's no offense well, to Arkansas. And, it's just and, if I were to pick a state, that's it's in not my alarming. top five yeah. guesses. Yeah. 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 Well, you know what the other thing is? Is that it goes both ways, right? So do I think these crazy people should be very proud of what they did. No, because it was humiliating. So do I think we still need to talk about how much of a disaster it was? Yeah. Not really, because they didn't really do much. Right. So it's like... (laughs) uh, Uh, Just send them to jail. and Just just send them to jail and we can be done with this whole thing. I mean, it's been three years. Two years? No. Two years. Uh, January 2021. Because it was 2021. Yeah. So, so it's two been years two now, years. And he's finally getting charged on all eight I counts. mean, just how long did this take? This takes forever. I know. I know. Imagine if it was something mm. even more serious than putting your feet up on a desk. Or perhaps they didn't. They, they didn't rush. Because, they didn't rush because, again, you didn't really do anything. They could take their time. But at the end of the day, they still have to find you guilty for doing this stuff. So they're like, fine. Yes, he's guilty. Of course he is. There was a picture. That's it. I think that's more so what happened here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Fine. We'll send him to jail. Whatever. 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 All right. Your turn. Uh, a man was shocked to discover he was the only passenger on a six-hour ghost flight. Nobody else had a ticket on this flight. So they he just took the his one. ass yeah. from Honestly, A to B? Honestly, what a dream. What a great time. I Where was he going? I say this all the time. He was going to... Hold on. Did I really take a screenshot when not? Oh, uh, when the I ad his, was up. Yeah, hold on, uh-huh. hold on, hold on. Yeah, well, I feel like, I mean, I'm sure six hour flight. You're going okay. That's a lot. Sydney to Fiji. Sydney to. Fi- I mean. Yeah, who else is going? I mean, I, I say <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, I I say it all the time though. It's not the it's not the machine. It's not the plane. That is the issue with flying for me. It's, it's the, the people. people. And so if I were to have a flight by myself, I mean, I think the biggest concern would be like, did this pilot want to take the flight by himself? And now I'm like interrupting. <laughs> oh, like he wanted his to time. do his own thing. Well, I mean, yeah. there's the rest of the crew. Yeah, that's that true. I'm sure they were on it. Yeah. And I, I mean, I would be irritated if the like the flight service was shitty and I'm the only one on there. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Oh my god. Or they're like You know what? But at the same time, I probably would just be like, you know what, I can get it myself. It's I fine. got it. I got I, it. Please don't, don't wheel the it. cart down the yeah, thing. No need. <laughs> from Sydney to Fiji. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's not a lot going on from from there. Yeah. Wow. Good for him. I know. Good I know. for him. Yeah. Okay. My next story is Okay. So, actually, I'll do that one last. Um, So, uh, about this new craze of the buckle fat or whatever this is. The what? Is it buccal? Buckle? I don't know how to say it. B-U-C-C-A-L. Have you seen this? No. Have you guys seen this? So, basically, right now, the new craze in plastic surgery is removing the cheek fat so you look like you're like... You're like oh, you look, Jesus yeah. Christ. But they, you look at pictures and you're like, oh my god, like 
one of them that people have brought up is Miley Cyrus. Now, whether she's got it or not, you look at the picture and you're like, holy shit, her chubby cheeks are gone. It's a great way to look older. It is a great way to look older. It's a great way to look older. And then yeah. when you get older and you go, I look older than I thought I would. It's because you tried to make yourself look older. You weirdo. I just <laughs> enjoy the little chubby. Chip chip. Of course. It's, it's what adorable. makes adorable. It's what makes you cute. Yeah. Like what? Why? Why would you do that to your face? I don't know. I really, that's like a big face thing too. Like getting a little Botox up here, you know, it's maintenance, but really changing your face. So this is what, this Scary. is what I honestly, I wanted to talk about this too. Like in five years, that will no longer be a trend to have. Changing yeah. your body based off of trends that either Kim Kardashian is doing or Miley Cyrus, or literally whoever, morphing your body based off of something that is a trend that maybe you have the funds to do something about it now, but there's no guarantee you're going to have the funds in five years to change it when the fad is over. Like, it is so beyond stupid. And I understand that, like, people might say, oh, well, they're unrealistic beauty standards. Like, people fall into that trap. Don't fall into the trap. Learn how to not fall into the trap. Like, yeah, I agree come with on. you. It's I'm sorry, but it's like the information is out there. You have to have some some grit and some strength to say, I'm not participating. Yeah. I think when you're in high school, you it, it makes sense to be sure. trapped in that mindset. When your mind is like, a, you know, very malleable when like yeah. things can, that type of deal. But if you're a grown woman... And you are looking at a Kardashian and you are saying, I will do anything to look exactly like them. Something mm, is wrong. There is something wrong. Something's wrong. Yeah, well, because like the people attach all of this, like they immediately go, they attach like success and happiness to this body type, which isn't true. No. Even Kylie Jenner, even though she's gotten a bunch of plastic surgery, I'm sure, whatever, whatever. The reason Kylie Jenner is successful is not because necessarily of her body. Yeah. It's because of the business that she runs and making other people kind of feel like shit without yeah. certain products. Yeah. But her body alone isn't what makes. Yeah. 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 No, definitely not. Like there's so many other things. I'm not saying it hurts, but. Yeah. Yeah. But I just, I, I just, to me, I'm like, yeah, of course, it's unrealistic beauty standards. Be aware of those. Don't fall into the trap of them. Like you, at a certain point, it is your job to armor yourself with your mind. Like, yeah, you have to be able to look at things and say, that's unrealistic. I'm not going to, if it bothers you to like, look at those type of models and be like, oh my God, I want to look like that. Don't look, don't look at it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You're because you're I mean, it's you're your, feeding your it's insecurities. Your yeah. To feed your insecurities. Yeah. For the for the most part. And stop, you know, trying to act as though choice is not an option all of the time. Like choice is always that's yeah, that's the thing. Like you can you can also make the decision on Instagram or on Facebook, say block this thing, block yeah, whatever. You don't want to look at it. If you don't want to look at it, you don't want to look at it. I block multiple things. I mean, if it bothers you, go for a walk. Yeah, get off your phone. Go for a walk. I mean, it's just yeah. I well, but some people just they want to stay a victim to things. I know. It's too bad. I know. It really it's is too, too bad. bad. It really is too bad. And so I think removing the fat from your cheeks is fucking stupid. Um, I think you'll regret it probably. And if you don't regret it, good for you. Um, and if you think you look better with them, go ahead and do it for me. Would I ever do it? No, I think it's fucking stupid. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I guess that's it. There you go. Yeah, I guess that's it. All right. Your um, next story. My next story. This is horrible, what I'm about to say. It's absolutely horrible. I can't even, like, I'm so sorry I'm even saying it, but I just, I saw the article and I, I, I can't not say it. Okay. In India, there was a kite flying competition where some of the people flying the kites were kite fighters. And what they used, they used, um, they used, what's the word? Strings. They used strings that had razors on it so that it would like cut the other kites. Oh no. 
Oh, no. Six people died, including three children, <gasps> who weren't even, weren't even participating in the event. The string flew back, roped around necks, and killed people. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, my God. That <laughs> I know. is a horrible a hor oh, story. Oh, my God. That is absolutely terrifying. Horrible. Oh, horrible. So these people go to watch these kites, and then before you know it, their throats are slashed? Yeah, but again, like, these are people who weren't even, like, participating in the festival. Like, children. Who were just outside. But the string wrapped around their neck? Slit yeah. their throats? Uh, uh, I don't I, even know what to say. I know. Because that is insane. It's insane. What do you mean you're a kite fighter? <laughs> what do you mean? It was like, a, obviously, it was an illegal thing for them to do. And, yeah, oh, and then now it's even more so. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that horrible? That is a horrible story. I mean, we... I don't even have anything to say about we it. We don't really. normally bring up straight tragedy. I know. It's a tragedy. Well, once there are kids involved, I know. Once there really are kids is, involved, is, I honestly, I can't make any joke. I can't. Nothing. Yeah, no. I that just is fucked Isn't that up. terrible? That is terrible. All right. Well, All right. I'm going to move on to the yeah. next one. Let's go ahead. <laughs> well, then let's get it out of the way. The Monterey Park shooting was horrible as well. Horrible. Bad week in the news. Bad week. Oh, my God. You know, we, uh, I, yeah. Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, well, on a more uplifting note, uh -huh. uh, Microsoft announces new multi-billion dollar investment in ChatGPT, maker of OpenAI. If you haven't heard about this ChatGPT, well, let's get you on the phone with our father. <laughs> <laughs> ChatGPT <laughs> is making the rounds, making the news. Uh, it's an AI software where you can like ask it anything and it'll give you a very long detailed answer. Yeah. But it ranges not from like what's what's a starfish to we said the other day we were like, write us a Seinfeld episode. Yeah. And Chat GPT was like, Well, I can't write specific dialogue, but here is the format for a Seinfeld episode. And sent us an idea of a Seinfeld episode, and we were like, that is spot on. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. I, I, it's, there's the part of it that you, of course, appreciate how interesting and how cool it is. But at the same time, I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. well, universities are already saying like, like it, you can't use this to write essays and whatnot. Yeah. Because kids are like, write me an essay on Edgar Allan Poe or whatever the fuck. You know, those classes. Kids in school, would you just learn? For the love of God. They're already so dumb. You're already so freaking stupid. Everything you do is multiple choice. Everything you do is on a Scantron. You're picking between choices A and D. You have a 25% chance of getting it right, you fucking idiots. Come on. Write a paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really... It, it is It is crazy. I can't even imagine being a teacher. No, me with neither. With the kids now? No. With the amount of technology, distractions, just everything, I can't even imagine being a teacher. No. Let alone chat GPT comes into the picture and says, I can write whatever for you. Yeah. Right. Write my essay like a fifth grader. Write my essay like, I mean. Yeah. I, 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 I would be so irritated. irritated. But also, this whole thing makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, me too. It, because it's. It's taking away the opportunity for. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. I have sneezed. Bless you. I have sneezed. I, I don't know <laughs> how many times today already. I've What's got a tickle in my schnoz. A tickle in your schnoz? Yeah. Anyway. Get your hair out of here. Thanks. Anyway, I'm scared because I'm like, what is this thing gonna take over? Everything? <laughs> What is this thing gonna take over? I I just also Chat GPT. You oh, couldn't come up with any other that name. That name is horrible. That name is horrible. Chat Might as well call it Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. 
Ay, 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 horrible yeah. name horrible name i Chant. hate coffee bean and tea leaf oh my god they use a powder instead of syrup why would you ever why would you ever in a coffee product put a solid in when you could put a liquid i mean you put the solid in then you got to depend on the employees to mix it appropriately so that it doesn't taste like straight powder in your cup and it makes the coffee thick i hate it <laughs> i literally hate coffee bean and tea leaf it's it's awful it is the it's worst so bad it is the worst coffee shop period period bad <laughs> coffee it's so bad you want to know what I, also you know, pisses me off about it what is okay <laughs> th- okay fuck this story okay you know what you know what i could ask chat gpt why the fuck? Why the it? fuck does coffee bean and tea leaf exist? Or I could say, what's the worst coffee shop on the face of the planet? Coffee and bean go, and tea leaf. Exactly. Exactly. Well, okay. <laughs> so, so long ago, I lived in uh, like like century, not century city. I lived in like um, not not the best area, but there was within walking distance to my apartment was a coffee bean and tea leaf. Mm -hmm. And it was the only coffee really within walking distance that I felt comfortable going to. And when I tell you the lid, (laughs) whatever lid they're using with whatever cup, it doesn't fit coffee bean and tea leaf. (laughs) It doesn't fit. It does not fit. It spilt Every single time. Your lids don't fit. Your coffee is bad. Mm -hmm. What do you mean tea leaf? What do you mean? (laughs) Coffee bean and tea leaf. Nobody. Shut up. (laughs) Like, why do you keep going with the name of the store? Coffee bean and. Why is there an and? What do you mean and? (laughs) Coffee and. Just call it coffee and tea. Coffee and tea, or just call it co- the coffee bean. And and when I get there, I'll look inside and I'll say, "Do you have tea?" And they'll go, "Yeah." And that'll be it. <laughs> and that'll be the end of Why it. Why are we talking about tea? <laughs> coffee bean and tea, tea leaf. leaf. Oh God, oh, God. It's, it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's just awful. And it goes against all marketing rules mm-hmm. in terms of the name. The name is so long, mm-hmm. too descriptive, too descriptive. And and then whenever I go in there. And I look at the other people in Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. I'm like, I'm not like you. No. I'm not like you. No. Nobody's like them. <laughs> they and, and here's the other thing. Here's the other thing, too. It's not as though you walk in and everybody's buying coffee beans and tea leaves. It's it, You're buying an individual cup of coffee. You're getting the coffee or the tea. You're not buying tea coffee leaves. beans and tea leaves. I, it's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I just don't understand. I, I mean, don't get it either. Oh, I God really bless don't. Dunkin' Donuts. Honestly. Honestly. My, my third new and final news story, and it's more so I just want to talk about how also I don't like this either. And just, just it's a negative. We are neg- negative today. Okay. <laughs> are we negative? Are we negative or are we just being realistic? You and know what's also crazy is that people, people still, they comment on your TikToks too, that we're aggressive. Uh, we are not aggressive. <laughs> we are simply. We're, we're actually, we're very friendly in person. We're insanely friendly. <laughs> we're, we're just friendly. passionate yeah. about a lot of things. Yeah, we have some emotion. God forbid, God, for, God forbid, two, two ladies got something to say. God, for, God forbid. God okay. forbid. Anyway, anyway. So there's this new thing. It's not that new. I don't think it's new at all, actually. But I've recently learned about it. What an intro. (laughs) These fucking slapping competitions. What? What are you talking about? It's like a... It's like a a, a sport. People are slapping each other? They stand across from each other, like two feet from each other, and they wind up and they smack the other person across the face. What's the benefit to this? How, How far does it go? Can you win a medal? What you you win? I win what? <laughs> you win. You slap somebody. I slap the hardest. Yeah. Do you keep slapping back and forth, or is one slap each? I think it's one slap each. I mean, in the, the story that they're talking about, this girl wound up slapped another girl across the face, and she fell to the floor, and that's the story. What is the benefit of this? I don't know. And I these are teenagers so doing this. No, they're grown adults, Kelly. They're in like athletic wear. Really? Yeah. And they're just slapping each they're other. They're slapping each other. 
You tell me. <laughs> I, I, I literally, I, Why? I haven't heard of this. I know it's stupid in my heart, in my heart and soul. I'm like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever do heard. You know, do you know why I think it's so stupid? And the, the attention that it's getting is so is so beyond me. I, I went to this website and I, I, I like look at the article and I see an article. Oh, girl slaps other girl. She falls to the floor. I'm like, OK, I go. A little yeah, you're down like, a what little kind bit. of fight could this be? Yeah, yeah, but then I go down a little bit further. I'm looking for another story because I don't give a fuck about that one. Another story on there. Guy slaps guys so hard. I'm like. Why are we slapping each other? Why are we slapping each other? And why is this making the news so many goddamn times? I do not know. I don't know. Makes I, me feel bad for talking about it now. Would anybody <laughs> just just read a book? I mean, read a good book, Lord. I just yeah. Apparently, he was in a slapping competition. This other guy, and now his face <laughs> is disfigured. What are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. And it's like it's like whose fault is it? the guy that slapped so hard but that was his job he was supposed to hit you as hard as he could or is it everybody's fault for signing up for getting slapped i don't know but i'll I tell you this right now if anyone was like hey you want a slapping competition i'm like you just want to hit me yeah just say you don't like me <laughs> <laughs> must we slap must, each other must over we it? slap <laughs> <laughs> i mean really just uh, people are so dumb they really are insane all right i think we can get in to do, 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 do you want to do an egg on my face or whatever before we do this or that sure yeah. all right egg on my face okay i gotta update what i wear to take my dog to go to the bathroom in the morning <laughs> because the and i did it today where i changed because the other day i went down in my glasses Full big bun on top of my head. Full big bun. My comfy <laughs> mm -hmm. pajama pants and slides. And I was standing out there <laughs> and someone across the street saw me picking up Soup's dog shit in my comfy, my pajama pants, my glasses, <laughs> the bun on the head. And I went, you know what? Nobody should see you looking like this. Nobody... There's a certain level. I 100% understand where you're coming from. There have been times where I have moved my car mm -hmm. in my pajama pants in a shirt that doesn't match pajama pants, really, and in sneakers and such. And I go and I'm walking to move my car, but people don't know I'm going to move my car. And unfortunately, yes. there's too high... Of a percentage of people within our area who are walking around in their pajama pants when it's not time to go to sleep. So I <laughs> don't think I should be doing it <laughs> going yeah, forward. I don't think so either. People can't tell I'm not in that demographic of folk. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. And it. so when we lived in Vancouver, Washington, people were in their pajamas all the time, hey, everywhere, hey, hey, running around, you know, going to the supermarket. Supermarket. Yeah. Welcome to the 90s. Uh, going to the supermarket <laughs> in their PJs. Mm. No one thought anything of it. Mm -hmm. But out here, you can't be walking around in your jams, jams. No, you can't. You uh, can't. And and also, it's like, it's like we need to have some self-respect in Kelly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, if anybody who we knew saw so us, they'd be like, are you okay? Well, I, the, the, uh, there's a woman, another comedian that lives next door to us. She'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you look like shit, Kel. And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I do. My dog had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> did you do an egg on your face or did you do a... No, I did the... A what the clock? I did a what the clock. <laughs> 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 your notes app isn't loading. <laughs> my notes app isn't loading. Uh-oh. Well, do you remember what your what the clock was? Yeah. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my what the clock was well what the clock at that first <laughs> of all how embarrassing my what the clock was um oh i remember <laughs> 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 what's happening to me okay my what the clock was okay uh, uh, bruce earlier was trying to fix the printer that we have and and here's what i'm gonna say has anybody <laughs> <laughs> heard of a working printer no ever no. the printer is on one hand a brilliant on invention 
On the other hand, the worst thing ever made. I think that technology-wise, we need to go back before we go forward. If we can't have a printer, we shouldn't have chat GPT. <laughs> I think yeah. we need to perfect the things. Because the thing is, is that if, if we have holes in printer, mm -hmm. this other stuff, we're missing something. Yeah. There's no way we have everything. That no. we need to know. The only thing I can compare a printer to is a boat with a hole in it. <laughs> it's <laughs> just, it is sinking. It and, is and there constantly are be, sinking. There are going to be moments where you're like, no, I think we're on the up and up. I put the paper in, it's feeding through, and then all of a sudden, jam, <laughs> jam, jam. What do you mean jam? I just got started. I just got started. We just put it in. I put it in the direction it goes in. What do you mean? What do you mean jam? What's going on on the inside that I'm not seeing? <laughs> it's like there are tiny men working in the printer that just can knock it along. I know. It's like, guys, <laughs> figure it out. We all have our jobs. To no, do. I just... literally have never owned a working printer. No. God, it's infuriating. The printers so that work big. the best are the ones that are massive. Yeah, they have to be massive. You can't be doing a dinky printer. And oh my God. Oh my you God, I'm looking at it. I hate it. I hate <laughs> it. Well, here's the other thing too. You print three sheets of paper and then it's like low on ink. You're like, who? What? what? <laughs> How? How? Maybe right. maybe if the test page didn't use up half the fucking ink in the goddamn no, I'm kidding. thing. Do I have to test it every single time? Yeah. I know. Either you work or you don't. Oh, I know. Either you work or you don't. I hate printers. I hate them. I hate them. I just, I, to me, I'm like, we just, they don't we work. gotta find some type of alternative maybe to the printer. I mean, I, the alternative is not printing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like. It is the worst product it's awful. It's awful. They're all terrible. Yeah. The, I, I hate all of them. I've never had a good one. Anyway, uh, should we move to this or that? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. And we did animals. <laughs> yeah. This time around. Would you like me to go first? Sure. You bummed about your notes. <laughs> do you remember what your things were? Yeah, I do. Okay. All right. Um, grizzly bear uh -huh. or polar bear? Grizzly. I go grizzly too. Which I go grizzly too, and you don't want to know why. <laughs> what? What? Why? Why? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, polar bears seem to really get uncomfortable when their environment isn't doing too well. <laughs> and I need something mm -hmm. with a little more sturdier. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry, but I don't know. I, I mean, I'm assuming all of these are like in a fight, no? All the animals? Or are we just picking? We're just picking. Oh, I still go grizzly. Cuter. Well, I don't know what it is about polar bears, but to me, they're not a good looking bear. No, they kind of look like a uh, like a rooster of bears. <laughs> I don't care if they know. <laughs> what? You don't care if they know what? I don't care if they know. What? <laughs> what do they need to know? I'm going to be really sad if, like, throughout the, <laughs> the whole first half of this episode, if I have a booger, we're leaving it. <laughs> we, are, we are leaving it, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to re-record. <laughs> I'm gonna I literally, I've been, I, <laughs> I've been looking at this bitch for the past half hour. And but I can't see the other side. <laughs> I, can't, I can't see the <laughs> other side, <laughs> Al. <laughs> the other side of what? your face. I've been li literally, <laughs> yeah, but we, yeah, but we stare at each other. For the and I, can't, <laughs> I couldn't see really. I really hope I don't have a booger <laughs> for this whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> she just paused and she's like, wait. <laughs> she's like, hold on, hold on, Allie. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, uh, am I good? Yes, you're good. Uh, I go grizzly bear. <laughs> I go grizzly bear. Stop. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Don't <sighs> shit your pants, Kel. I do kind of have to. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no. I'm not going to pull it. I'm going <laughs> to. 
<laughs> molding it. What's your next this or that? <laughs> My next. I haven't even started. Let's go. <laughs> lion or tiger? Lion or tiger? <laughs> tiger. Really? No. Lion. <laughs> lion, I think. Tigers are kind of like lion. I like the difference between a male and female lion. They're funny to me. Like a lion, a male lion is like a diva and whatever. And then a female lion is like, I will fuck shit up. Yeah. And then the tiger, it's just kind of. Tiger, I can't tell what's girl and what's boy. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse. I see no boy or girl. I'm Are you picking... boy or girl tiger? <laughs> <laughs> and you're talking regular Bengal tiger. Yeah. Yeah. I go lion then. I go lion too. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. <laughs> tigers are like. <laughs> well, also one time I was at was I at the Fresno Zoo? <laughs> I, was, I was at a zoo, and before you go, zoos are bad. Okay, uh, <laughs> okay, I hear you. In one ear, out the other. <laughs> I've been to a few zoos. Yeah, one thing about me, I'm going to the zoo. <laughs> I'm going. To, if they're open, I'm going. <laughs> So anyway, so I was at the Fresno Zoo. I think it was the Fresno. And they did, uh, they were feeding the tiger. And this thing was jumping up on the cage. And I'm like, I think could kill all of us. <laughs> like, should we really be feeding it at all? Yeah, like whenever you go to the zoo and people like antagonize like the jaguar and stuff, I'm like, y'all are dumb. Well, I'm like, I hope it gets its way out. <laughs> and I hope you're first to go. <laughs> you can't antagonize the animals at the zoo. That's the time that it happened we, when we went to the... Where were we at? We were at, at Portland? No. No. Because was we mom was there? with Bruce. Or was it San Diego? It was San Diego. It was San Diego. San Diego Zoo. These San kids Diego were, they were harassing the monkeys. Yeah. The baboons. Oh, my God. Did I want the glass to break and for oh, the and for them to, just, to go just Oh, my God. Wild. Because the thing is, is that the parents were right there and the parents were, like, egging it on. Yeah. I was so pissed at that. Uh, to me, it's one of those things where, like, if the baboon fucks up your family, shouldn't have traumatized the baboon. Yeah, you shouldn't. Yeah. It's the same way if you go to national parks and you, like, tr you know, try and mess with the animals. It's like, you're fucking stupid if anything happens to you. Yeah. It's an animal. It's an animal. It doesn't care. Okay, next All ones. Right. Next ones. Okay. Octopus uh -huh. or platypus. I ended two things with puss. <laughs> <laughs> platypus really yeah mm. they're so ridiculous <laughs> i go platypus too because octopus first of all there's a big fascination with octopus right now octopus are like a thing where people are like it's so cool like they're your friend and it's like platypus doesn't want to be your friend platypus has things to do what i don't know i relate more to a platypus yeah than i do to an octopus for sure yeah also I'm sorry, but it is so spooky to me when they crawl on the ocean floor. Oh, because they're I not crawling; chill. they're like, bing, bing, bing. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, they're freaking. Yeah, and I'll tell you this too: the octopus driving the truck in Finding Dory was why that movie didn't work overall. Not practical. Not practical. Why would an octopus be driving a bus? It didn't make any sense. Like Finding Dory was objectively not good. It wasn't good. It was not good. No. no. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, Fight that is me on a bummer. It. Um, would you rather have... Is this your next one? Yeah. Okay. 12 chickens or six donkeys? Um, 12 chickens or six <laughs> donkeys. I feel like I relate to chickens more interesting <laughs> um but i think a donkey would f be more like fulfilling in terms of like hanging out with one or the other like you hang out with a donkey it's gonna want to like nuzzle or whatever right right right, right. a chicken is like <laughs> <laughs> they're crazy interesting so i guess i go i think i want the chickens i want chickens and I want them to lay eggs, too. Me, too. Yep. 
Go ahead and make yourself useful. Well, donkeys. I mean, a donkey can carry stuff. How much stuff do I need to carry? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. not moving around stuff all the time. Chickens are funny. Chickens are funny. Donkeys aren't really that funny. No. They're kind of funny looking, but. Yeah, they're a little funny looking, but I mean, the best donkey we're ever going to get was in Shrek. Yeah. But chickens are hilarious. Chickens are very funny and they're very useful. Yeah. Okay. I go with chickens. Chickens. Okay. Your house built by a beaver or your food supply chosen by a fox? <laughs> uh... Food supply chosen by a, a fox. fox. Yeah, I'm thinking they're, well, you're mostly going to be eating rabbits then, I think. That's what it is. Rabbits, chipmunks. I mean, a beaver, It, it's just not going to be, they're not going to build. But they the do stay I with need. you. The beaver? The beaver will stay. What the fox that will stay. With it? Like they live with you now. Okay. The I'll, beaver lives I'll with live you, the with, fox lives I'll with you. I'll live with the fox. Okay. I think I'm going to go beaver. Really? Yeah, I feel like a, me and a beaver would get along better. Yeah, but you're going to have a house just built out of wood. I mean, the the the, the fire concern. <laughs> I mean, how are you going to cook in the home? I don't know. They're, they're the experts of building a house in the animal kingdom. I mean, I'm not going to have a lot of dinner parties. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to have But anything. I can't eat rabbit, chipmunk, whatever. Yeah, you, yeah the, the experts of the animal kingdom of building a house, they're not the experts of, you know, plumbing and figuring out how to make a blanket for your bed. I go with beaver. There's nothing you could do to make me change my mind because I don't trust that a fo Well, A, I don't trust living with a fox. Uh -huh. They're sly. And <laughs> number two... Did I say A? <laughs> okay, B. <laughs> B uh -huh. is I don't want to eat rabbits, chipmunks, et cetera, et cetera. I don't want to eat what a fox eats. Okay, so you're going to eat what? You can eat whatever? Yeah. <sighs> Kelly. Mm -hmm. No. You're still doing the fox. Huh? I'm picked in fox. I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're allowed to do whatever you want. Thank you. This is my this or that. Go ahead. Your next one. My final one was. What was it? <laughs> oh, my God. I This is so I'm so sad. I had everything written out. Hold on. Why don't you close the application? OK, and let's then try it, guys. It. I don't know if I accidentally like deleted it or <gasps> there, there it is are. sloth or koala. Oh, koala. Really? Absolutely. Me too. I don't like sloths. I don't like them either. The nails. The nails. I think no. they're ugly. Whenever there was that whole trend where everybody was like into sloths and we're like, they're so fun. They're so cute. I was they're like, so mm, slow. They're so oh, slow. Oh my God. I don't find them entertaining when I see them. Mm. Um, a koala. I mean, those ears. I mean, they're just Koalas adorable. are the best. They're so they're cute. They're so cute. They're so cute. Koala tea. They do <laughs> sleep. Uh, they do sleep a lot, and they have a bad attitude, which I relate to. Yeah, me too. So I understand. I love koalas. I always have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we've got beef? Yep. Let's do it. Okay. I've got beef with people who can't read a room in this type of a way. If you know I'm friends with somebody, mm -hmm. uh, and you still decide to shit talk them, to me. Mm -hmm. Shit talk about them. Mm -hmm. To me. I'm like, why are we doing this? I don't do this to you. Yep. I don't do this to you. There's no reason to do this to me. Don't make me defend this person consistently. Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. You know, I don't want to be burdened with that task of trying <laughs> to make you like them because that's never going to work. Right. So it's just like, oh, yeah. Just tone it back. It, th this happens all the time with me, too. Actually, when people know that I don't have a problem with somebody, they will bring up that person and things that they did to try and get me to dislike yes! them. And I'm like, I don't, I, you're not going to get me to dislike them unless it's actually something horrible. If you just yeah. don't click with them and don't vibe with them, and I do, just leave it at that. Why do we have well, to keep talking about it? I don't know. And this it makes happens to me a lot. It yeah. makes me really uncomfortable. Yeah. Because... 
we all agree that when you find a communal person that you dislike, that's a great time. Sure, of uh, course. But if if you're trying to make me hate somebody yeah, over things that, I hate that are not a big deal. Yeah. Like, I see right through it. Right. And I don't like it. Yeah. No, I feel the exact same way. Because... It's just a waste of, it's a waste of time. It's, it's. And I, I always make it clear. Yeah. I'm always like, well, you know, like, well, I've known them for a long time or they're a friend of mine. I always make it clear. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I also, I see a lot when like these videos where people will be like, oh, so-and-so was saying this about you. Oh, why did they feel comfortable saying it around you then? Like, you're actually not my real friend if they felt comfortable saying it around you. Do you understand how out of line people are? Yeah. Like, yeah. people, if you're friends with me, I guarantee that other people have tried to talk shit about you to me. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with my loyalty to you because I'll look at that person and just be like, yeah, well, I'm their friend. So, yeah. And then that, that's it. And yeah. they might still try and talk me out of, like, liking you. I mean, that's just going to be what they try and do. It's not going to, like, it has nothing to do with me egging on the shit talking. No, no. <clears throat> There's been so many times where I've gone to the comedy store and the first thing someone says to me is shit talking somebody else. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I didn't invite this. I didn't say that I wanted this. Right. But it's just, well, we're also in a very competitive field. So it's like people are shit talking each other like crazy. And it's like, you know. It's exhausting. It is exhausting. Dude, just have a like, good time. Have a good time. <laughs> and if you put that energy into yourself, you mm -hmm. would be so much more productive. Yep. Yep. It's just, it's like, and and then people go, well, I wonder why I'm not getting X, Y, and Z. It's because, because you spend all your time worrying about and talking about other people. Right. You're not focused on yourself. Right. And you shit talk to people I like to me. That's annoying. Yeah. It's annoying. Yeah. Okay. Your turn. I have beef with something that happened last evening. Whoa. We went to Tony's on the Pier in Redondo. Love, Love it. Love Tony's on the Pier in Redondo. Yes. We're there. We're waiting maybe at least 20, 25 minutes, I would say, um, to try and get a table. It's like this bar. Um, it's upstairs and like there's... There's not a ton of space. Uh, there's tables all around the edge of the circular uh, bar. And then there's, you know, some bar space. But we were waiting to get a table, the three of us, us and Bruce. And finally, we were able to get a two-top table. Um, but obviously, we needed a third chair. I look at these girls who are over to the side. It's just the two of them. And they have an extra chair. And I walk over and I said, hi. Um, I'm so sorry. I was just wondering if you're, um, if anybody's sitting in that third chair and if we could use it since we have a party of three. And the girl, <laughs> which one was it? Was it the blonde? Yeah, the one that looked bitchy. Yeah, yeah. she, she looked at me and she <clears throat> goes, "I mean, my stuff is on it." And I like look, and there's her purse and like a shopping bag, and I go, I literally, I just go. Oh, I mean, if it's too much trouble, don't worry about it. I was like, I don't give a um, fuck how expensive your bag is, is or the stuff that is in your shopping bag. Put it on the floor or put it in your lap or put it on the table. Like, I'm a person. The look I gave her when we sat down, I like looked over and I was like, I mean, how rude are you? Uh, d just a dumb fucking bitch. You know, the thing is, is that there are certain people who have no idea what it's like to do anything for anybody. Else. Their brain is all of me, 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 me. I mean, honestly, I just, I was like, if, if bitch, you, you ever, kidding. if you, if any of my friends were like, well, our stuff is on it, I'd be like, and we can move it. I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Who gives I, a I, shit I, if your I, stuff is on it? I would, Yeah. <laughs> It, it literally doesn't... It's a person. Let him sit down. I I can't <laughs> like, even... I, I was so... And I was just... And I mean, I was kind of... Listen, I'm not going to fight on it. I'm not going to whatever. But I am going to make it clear that, like, you're being rude. That's why I was just like, if it's too much trouble, <laughs> don't worry about it. Please. If it's hard being I would hate nice for you to lift a seconds. finger... 
You Fuck literally her. have seen us stand here for the past 25 minutes. Like, literally, we were maybe two feet from her standing the entire time. And then it's like, we finally get a table. And nope. I honestly, thank God we weren't, we didn't have that much to drink by that point. Because I, if she had said that to me, I would have been like, you are such a bitch. <laughs> like, I don't think I would have been, I would have been like, <laughs> you're a bitch, dude. <laughs> like, I don't think my brain would have been able to compute. Yeah. And then if she was like, if she got offended, I'd be like, what? Did she, what? We, should we take a poll <laughs> in this room right now? How everybody else finds what you just said insane to say to another person? Whatever. Wow. Whatever. And how so with Mike? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So this week we had a request uh, for America's Got Talent yep. to be the, um, the topic. So uh, do you want to go first? Sure. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> This is my my audition for America's Got Talent. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Allie and I do impressions. Oh, no. This is my Tom Hanks impression. Hi, I'm Tom Hanks. I know that was an easy one. This is my Ariana Grande impression. Okay. Hi, I'm Ariana Grande. Wow. Here's my Adele. Hi, I'm Adele. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. No, this is my Chris Pratt. Hi, I'm Chris Pratt. <laughs> my mom's favorite is my impression of Martha Stewart. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart. My boss's favorite, which is him. Hi, I'm Allie's boss. The garbage guy loves my impression of Prince. Hi, I'm Prince. <laughs> but people go nuts for my duck. Quack. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> people go nuts for my duck quack <laughs> well that was something <laughs> I just wanted to sit in it for a little bit you know yeah <laughs> sit in the bit <laughs> sit in the bit for a little bit yeah it was good thank you maybe <laughs> alright it was more just me being annoying <laughs> yeah but which is good Okay. <laughs> What's up? My name is Kenneth. I'm a 12 year old opera singer from Palm Springs. When I was eight, I was diagnosed with an allergy to peanuts. Aww. My whole life changed. I was cool, and then I was a freak. <laughs> so then I decided to really lean into being an outcast and picked up opera. My parents are here to support me because no one else wanted to hear me sing. <clears throat> I am from Palm Springs. <laughs> I cannot have peanuts. Mm. I'm alone. <laughs> 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 yeah so that's a story <laughs> you weren't weren't you a 12 year old last week <laughs> no i was a 19 year old bully at a middle school i think oh, okay. yeah oh. <laughs> Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the suggestion. That was fun. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. You can follow us on uh, Night Coop Podcast. Here's the deal. <laughs> what deal? <laughs> uh, my right. Instagram is at this is Kelly Ryan. And I'm at Al. I oh. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Damn, you bitch. Okay, you good. can't talk. You can try again. Uh, and I am Allie Ryan. Hell yeah. Okay. And please give us a uh, five-star review <laughs> on Apple Podcast. And we'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.